up with a former porn star. Look on the bright side, she's probably an easy lay. Two things. One, if anything, she's probably tired of sex at this point. And two, even if I do have sex with her, it'll probably be like fucking a hulu. I don't think so. And why not? Well, her name is Annabelle. What do you think her porn star name was? I have no idea. Come on, think. I, um, I'm drawing a blank. Anal Bell. Oh my god, are you serious? I'm dead serious. And you accused me of deviancy. I didn't say it was a bad thing. You said I'd explode into a goat fucking frenzy. That was just an exaggeration. And look, since she took it up the ass the entire time, her snatch is probably still as tight a fit as my belt after a Thanksgiving dinner. That's actually a pretty good simile. Good job. Thanks. How long have you been dating Lindsay, anyway? Three months. What? You've been dating her without me knowing for three months? I barely started talking to her last week. Sorry. I wasn't going to keep it from you forever. I'm just glad I didn't embarrass myself by asking her out yet. It'd have been really fucking awkward if she had to explain to me she was already dating my best friend, and I didn't fucking know about it. Look, don't worry about it. Annabelle's nice. I've only met her a couple times before, but she's actually very ladylike. That's good to hear, I guess. If you get nervous while talking to her, just picture a penis in her mouth or something. Preferably your own. What if I picture yours? Then I'm gonna start locking my bedroom door at night, because obviously I don't know you as well as I thought I did. Matt, you've never been late before. I was about to get worried. It's only three minutes past, no big deal. But this guy just had to waste precious seconds to pretty himself up. Hey, Lindsay. Hey, Chris. Come on, meet my sister. Oh, and she's a tad shy. Oh, I'm sure she is. Anna, this is a friend of mine, Chris. Hi. Hello. We already ordered our food. I know what you both like, though, so I ordered for you, too, if that's okay. Oh, that's fine, thanks. Uh, how's your preparation for the next tournament going? It's the semifinals, right? Yeah, unfortunately Kelly's sprained ankle seemed to have gotten the best of her, so she might have to sit this one out. Well, that's shitty. Kelly's one of the best on the team. Second only to you, of course. We have a few substitute players in mind, but none of them are as good as Anna. I always played with her, and she's good enough to go pro. But she chooses not to. I'm tired of having attention drawn to me. No need to be sour about it. I don't know why you've been moody. I know you've been getting plenty of sex. Hardy fucking hard. I haven't gotten any since I quit. I'm kind of tired of sex, to be honest. Told you. I'm pretty sure you've already been informed of my previous job, right? Chris, was it? Uh, yeah. Hey, it's none of my business. A job is a job. Oh, well, thank you. I wish other guys thought that way. Hey, Matt, uh, can we go outside for a sec? Hmm? Why? What's up? I want to talk to you about something. Uh-oh. I'll be right back. Hopefully in one piece. So... So... Uh, have you gotten another job since you quit? No, I got paid enough just to relax for a few months before I really need to go searching for one. Ah. Look... I'm just going to get this out of the way. If you came on this date expecting to get sex, I got some bad news for you. No, 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 no. I had no idea what your former profession was before I accepted the date. I'm not really proud of what I used to do. I was just young and horny, which is a pathetic excuse. You're not as pathetic as me. I have to mop up the dead bodies after death matches at the arena, and I'll admit that I'm no ladies' man. I've never even made it past the first date. Wow, that is pathetic. Thank you. So, do you think this is a good idea? I don't know. I just need to get Chris out of the fucking house. If he remains a lonely shut-in, he's gonna become a serial killer, I'm pretty sure. And of course, I'm gonna be the first one murdered because I live with him. I've been trying to get Anna to date, but she just doesn't want to. Well, I'm sure that's because she's already gotten enough dick to last a lifetime. Don't be mean. Sorry, it's so hard not to make fun of her. Remember that Halloween-themed porn she was in? The Revenge of Count Fabula? She got bukkagied on by, like, 20 guys. How could I not give her shit for that? Her former employer is still hounding her, trying to get her back into the business. Seriously? Yeah, he's really persistent. Jeez, the porn industry is turning into the sex mafia. Well, at least you're trying to get your life on the right track. 
I'm just pretty unsure about that book idea. I'm doubting the public is very keen on bestiality. Maybe write two versions to maximize profit? Hmm. That's a pretty good idea. I got a lot of lectures on economics during my time as a porn star. And, oh my god. What? Anna, baby! Hey, <laughs> somehow I knew I'd find you here. Uh, Anna? Who is this guy? The name's Tyler Duffy, and I'm Anna's former employer. Oh, fuck. <laughs>